Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R and in this session we are going to learn about different data types in R. I will type the comment here that data types in R. Five data types are there but mostly used are those three. Uh, one is numeric, numeric data, then other data, then character data is there, then logical data is there. Others are complex, this data type we very rarely use. And the last one is the raw data. Again, uh, this data type uh, very experienced developers can use. I'll comment all these out. And for this, I use the shortcut Control Shift C to comment all this. For numeric data, that is numbers. 4 is a numeric data. 5 is a numeric data. Now, we will create a vector A. And now we will introduce you to a function called C. This is for combination or concatenation, small c, lowercase c. And in this, we can add many different values together, 4, comma 5, comma 6, comma 7. Data structure is called as vector now. Okay. We'll run that. And all the values have got stored now in A. I will copy A and we'll run that what is there in a press control enter to run four five six seven values are there in vector a now we'll ask it the question is dot numeric a argument will be a run that yes it's a numeric now another question in numeric two types are there integer and double is dot integer a instead of dot i have put comma therefore this error is there i will put dot there run that uh, no it's not integer it's false we have written whole numbers here integers here but r is not accepting it as integer we'll see why uh, then is dot double this is number with decimal points or continuous numbers run that yeah it's a double R has accepted as double. Now I will do a little change in that. Uh, I will declare a vector B, assignment operator, that combination and the bracket. In this, I will type 4 followed by uppercase L, 5 followed by uppercase L, 6 followed by uppercase L and 7 followed by uppercase L and we'll run that. Now we'll see what is there in B. Again, B contain 4, 5, 6, 7. But at the back end, R is understanding those as integers. Because to make those integers, to tell R that these are integers, we have added this uppercase L here. And now I will again ask the same questions. Is dot numeric B? Yes, it's numeric. Is dot double B? No, it's not double. Then what it is? Is dot integer B? Yes, it's integer. Okay. Why these different data types are there? As you go on practicing R, using R, you will find that, uh, that uh, the difference between double and integer can be significant for some analysis. Then I uh, will go for the character data. As you have seen how this data gets printed, B, you don't have the inverted quotes here. But for character data, this will have inverted quotes. I will uh, type A character and run that c assignment of op op assignment operator c inverted quote 4 inverted quote 5 inverted quote 6 okay even if this is the numeric uh, data it appears as numeric data but this inverted quote will make it a character data again we will ask is dot numeric a underscore character no it's not numeric it's false is dot character spelling is wrong and here help is there i will press tab on my keyboard to get the command completed this is very good shortcut is dot character and there i will type a underscore care again uh, tooltip help is there again i will type tab on my keyboard to make it easy for me and this increases my output increases uh, speed of my work run that is dot character yeah it's character data true Character data holds names, numbers and all those. I will type here students, students, that assignment and will type name of students there. Suresh, 
Ramesh and run that and we'll see what is there in the student students again you can see that this is character data therefore those inverted quotes will be there it's not integer data it's not numeric data or not double <coughs> you can add any number of values in this vector okay this is character data i said then we'll go for the logical data a logical i will type there a underscore logical assignment operator and c logical data contains these values true all caps always remember that this is all caps false again true true only these two values will be there therefore this type of data is also called as boolean data uh, i will give the name logical here because i have not worked here and complex and raw we are not going to discuss this i will run control enter and we'll ask it to print a underscore logical and run that it is saying true false true true now you can see these values are getting printed in different color uh, this character values are also getting printed in different color and numeric values are also showing in different color this is highlighting code highlighting to help you understand what type of data it is highlighting you can change but if you are familiar with these colors that makes you uh, makes handling your data very easy i uh, will ask it question is dot character a underscore log and run that no it's not character is dot numeric a underscore log no it's not numeric is dot logical a underscore log and run that it's true it's logical data okay. those complex data and raw data we require very less number of times therefore i will not <coughs> discuss that uh, in next session we'll see how to uh, interconvert this data how to convert character data to numeric uh, what happens if we convert that then how to convert numeric data to character we'll see what happens then then logical to numeric logical to character we'll see how that uh, data can be interconverted in between and we'll see uh, data coercion also that's a very uh, important concept to learn about uh, data types uh, that's all for this session if you like this video please click like button share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet and press the bell icon to get notification of my new videos thanks thanks for watching this